Okay, today I did something that I'm sure every artist dreads, and I know I was dreading it for sure. I took all my dead soldiers and I squirted them onto this canvas that I wasn't crazy about the picture, right? So I just took all the tubes and you take them and you get them in the roller like this and you roll like that and a big old gob of paint comes out and you put it on the canvas. So let me finish this one. I've done this. Let me show you the all the way wrung out ones. I've only got a couple more to do. This is how many tubes I wrung out today. I'd say that's 40 or 50 tubes. And they all went on here. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this, and I've done it before, is take uh, crumpled up um, uh, plastic wrap and just sort of blob around because they're going to mix together and if I'm not careful it'll all turn what brown but this is just to show you what you could do with your dead soldiers if you can stand to get this dirty because it's really a horrible job look at how dirty everything is it's just blech. but hopefully the painting will come out and it will make it less painful so I'll be back and show you what else happens Okay, I'll show you the technique, if you can call it a technique. See? you got to get, like, this is from a pre-stretched canvas, the, the, you know, what it's wrapped up in when you, like, buy it from Michael's or something. You just dab. And you don't stay too long in one place, or you'll just end up with mud. So you got to dab really quick, and then just move on, or else you'll get mud. Sometimes you uncover something really beautiful. Sometimes you accidentally cover up something that was really beautiful and you just messed it up. But anyway, this is how you do it. That's how your plastic ends up looking. So that's why you have to keep changing it and folding it. But it's, I'll show you the painting that I've done with this technique before. Because I won't leave it like this. This is, to me, this isn't a painting. I'm not, I feel like I'm not really doing anything. So anyway, um, I will show you the, what I'm going, the direction I'm going to go with it uh, in a few minutes. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do to it today. Oh, I forgot. I was going to show you that other painting. Just a sec. Be right back. This one right here has the same technique in the underpainting in the background. Same stuff. And then I did the other stuff over the top. So I don't know if that's if that's how this one's gonna come out, but this is uh, this is the first one I did that I used the background like that. So it's ninety degrees in my studio now and I am going in. That's my painting day. Bye!